Neck and back injuries are some of the most common injuries that you're going to find in an automobile accident. And a lot of people want to know what is the average settlement or what can I expect to get from my neck or back injury as a result of my uh, lawsuit. And unfortunately, it's a complicated answer and there isn't one simple answer. And this is because the amount of damages that you're going to get, your compensation is going to be tied to how bad the injury is. And just like every other uh, injury, there's a lot of different types of injuries to your back and your neck. There are ligaments and um, you know tears and things like that, or maybe even sprains in your neck or your back, which can be painful and last a period of time, though ultimately are not that severe. On the other hand, you can have a herniation of a disc where essentially you're gonna have to have surgery to take part of that disc material out or even fuse the discs together uh, to create stability and reduce the pain in your back. And this type of pain could sometimes radiate into your arms and your legs. And these surgeries that you might have uh, as a result, sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. And even if they do work, they don't always fix all of the pain. And so they're oftentimes a permanent type of injury. These types of cases are worth way more than your average whiplash case or a case where you have a minor injury to your neck and back. And so when you're thinking about an average settlement or what your case is worth, you really need to look at your own damages, not just whether you hurt a certain body part or not. You'll find online all kinds of statistics about back and neck injuries, and your, may, your case may be worth way more than that. Uh, and so it's really best to call a lawyer to determine what it is that your case is worth and to help you out with this claim so that you can get the maximum compensation for your injury.